MMS was designed to study a phenomenon known as magnetic reconnection, which is kind of a magnetic explosion in space. You can think of Earth as a giant bar magnet with magnetic lines of force emanating out into space in a dipole pattern. Under just the right conditions, energy in this magnetic field is explosively converted into plasma energy, creating spectacular space weather phenomena like the aurora and magnetic storms. To catch these explosions in action, the MMS orbits were designed in two phases, a day-side phase and a night-side phase. MMS is actually four identical spacecraft flying in a geometrical formation known as a tetrahedron. Scientists hope to catch the magnetic explosions somewhere inside this tetrahedron. The sun is constantly blowing out its atmosphere into space, and this solar wind meets Earth's magnetic field at the magnetopause. Here, at the magnetopause, scientists expect to catch magnetic reconnection in action. So the apogee of the orbit is designed so that the tetrahedron cuts across the boundary twice per orbit while in perfect formation. As it crosses the magnetopause, MMS will take high-speed snapshots of the magnetic explosions as they unfold. MMS will complete its primary mission about two years after its launch, but scientists will be analyzing its data for many years to come.